Hi, my name is Brittany Davila. I go by my middle name, Rose, so you will see both names when I do my work. Um, I have been in the ECE field uh, since 2009, um, so about 10 years now. Um, I um, have uh, been working towards um, working with children with special needs. I worked in home, did uh, ABA therapy and uh, uh, be, those types of behavioral um, services I provided that that's probably one of my main goals is to continue doing that um, but I've also worked as a lead teacher in a state preschool classroom uh, for the YMCA I did that for about three years so I have a lot of experience um, in a lot of different aspects um, and not quite sure where I want to go but I have enjoyed mentoring other teachers and um, working on interactions with students and that, those types of things that's my favorite so um, number one, uh, which of the three standards or key elements do I think are most important? Going over the list, I feel that building um, relationships with the families and uh, community is most important. Uh, families uh, spend the most time with the kids. So it's very important that we build those relationships and help teach them how to continue what we do at school at home because that is very beneficial, obviously. Um, the other thing I think is most important is uh, using developmentally appropriate practices. And again, this ties into um, teaching families about developmentally appropriate practices. All too often, um, well, this leads to number two, what situations have I experienced that make me feel this way? Well, uh, during conferences with parents, they think that their, you know, two and a half, three-year-olds should be writing their name. and It's our job to teach them what is developmentally appropriate and how do we build the foundation for the learning that happens later. So um, that was, that's my main experience, I think, why I believe that's important. Um, my Number three, my professional growth plan um, has changed and developed over time. EC 300 to me is so long ago. I've learned so much and so many things have happened. and um, I think that um, my beliefs since then, they aligned with the standards, but now even more so I understand um, why these um, standards are important and how do I fit them into my professional goals and how do I grow as a teacher and an educator uh, beyond this after I finish and get my degree. So I hope that wasn't uh, too much crazy rambling. I hope it makes sense. I'm going to watch the video back now and see if I need to re-record it. Um, Thank you guys. Uh, I look forward to comments. I know I'm posting this late, but I do hope to get some feedback. Thank you.